Merry Christmas and welcome back to Testa's Tuesday Taxidermy Tips. By the way, I'm going to change the name on the website to Testa's Taxidermy Tips, but it'll still come out on Tuesday. Anyway, we're at uh, the final stage of our deer head here, part four. This will be my last one for about a week or so till after the first of the year, which I'll start off with giving away my top secret recipe for making hide glue. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and finish this. Now, what I've done just for the saving of time is I've already finished half of one side so I don't have to go through the whole thing. So when we, we last left our deer, everything was kind of roughed in on the one side. I had to sew it up, card down my seam. So we're going to come in now and we're going to just set everything and do all the final carding like I would do. First thing is I'm going to do is stuff my tissue paper into my nostril to hold the skin in there up against the detail that we put in there. And I usually do that in two pieces. One way out in the back and one up here in the front that I push forward and up. And that's going to give us this nice shape while it dries. And we'll finish pinning up our eye. I talked about that I use a five pin thing when we, we preset the eye keeping the tension on it with the one in the first corner and the two in the back corner. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my final eye shape with this. I'm going to put one pin here. Again about an eighth inch in front of the glass. I'm going to try and push this pin this way, not straight in, again to keep the tension on it. Same with my upper lid. I'm going to grab it about right here and point it this way to the front. And that's going to keep the tension on the eye. Now I'm going to shape the lid. Remember I didn't blend the clay of my upper lid into the mannequin. I just made the separate muscle. So all you have to do is come in and cut in that line and then come in right here with your eyelid. Well, I usually use the other side of this tool and cut in this line. And of course we have to come back and adjust it a little bit later again as it dries. I get this tool from Tandy Leather, it's some kind of leather tool. Now, this one, I couldn't decide whether to do both ears back or one forward and one back. Um, so I'm going to move this for a second to where it would be on the wall. And take a look at my attitude and then I think I'm still going to kick this ear back a little bit. And remember, it's got a rotating ear, which means as the ear goes back, it rotates. It curves under. So don't ever just push it straight back. And I'm going to make, come in and put my muscle demarcation, a couple wrinkles in here. This deer is getting a little dried out because Normally I wouldn't take literally four weeks to mount one like I did on this one. You would do this all in one session, so I had to try to keep it keep it moist. Now we're going to attempt to groom it up. Like I said, my coastal deer here are seasoned so early. We have hardly any hair on them, but you want to... You want to groom back your lines in here and then you always want to remember never brush your hair back like this hair works like rain gutters when the water hits it lays so the water will roll off the animal so you're always going to brush your hair in that direction now to get a crisp ear I put my ear cards on. I'm 
on about three staples in. What that's going to do is going to give me a really thin edge when this dries. Nice and thin. Can't get that with Bondo, no matter what them Bondo guys tell you. There we go there. Now, when I take my eyes off the card, I save the card, I cut it in half. It makes two perfect pieces to hold the skin down right here. One on each side of the eye. Right in this little depression there. One on the forehead to hold that down. Usually use four pins here. And I'm going to grab my pin gun, pin my face, and all I have to do is put my brisket cards on, and we're good to go. Oop, where's my pin gun? Four guns, and I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, I'm going to shoot a Shooting these up at an angle like this around my lip to hold it in. Same with my tear duct. I'm going to come in. And we'll come around my eye. This deer is pretty tight, but I'm going to put a couple there and then in some of these depressions here. People think that they don't have to do this. Oops, out of bullet. That that's fine. But I still say this. No glue ever made dries as slow as the hide, so it might appear to be sucked down, but it's not. And it really I'm gonna do another tip where I finish a deer head and show you that it doesn't really take that long to pull all these pins out. Okay, that's done. I'm going to spin it around. Make sure the air is worked out on my brisket. I've pre-cut this car just for the sake of time, but you can see this other one on the other side. How oh, I've done it. Other taxidermists are probably watching this cringing soul school actually use pins. Wait do you see the glue I make. Actually that glue works so good you can glue your hand to this concrete floor. And I can prove it because I can't get the glue off the floor when it dries. Okay, we got a little air pocket here. Can you get this over here? Can you see that? How that's wanting to come back up? There's a little air right in there. So poke a few holes. Work the air out. And uh oh. Cut one real quick. Gonna lay in a card along this side to keep this done. And you know, there's actually a bunch of stuff, this and that, little things that I I just kind of went over the basic. Really tough to try to put a deer head together, even in four short videos.
and cover it off. Got a little uh, little bit of drumming right here because, of, like I said, this thing got a little on the dried out side. So I'm gonna just shoot down one more card here, and then show you the last thing we need to do. Oops. Anyhow, there we have a basic stock shoulder mount. The last step is to put it on a drying board. The reason I do that is I can't stand a wavy edge like this. So we're going to go ahead and screw it down to a board. Nice and tight flat. It's going to give you a nice flat edge. It's going to fit, sit right tight, nice on the wall. Now, if this deer had any hair on it, and we'll still do it anyway, we want to tuck all our hair in nice around here. Come in here. And suck that nice and tight there. Now we're going to let this deer head dry for 30 whole days and come in and finish it. And I'll try to do that on a tip on this same one so you can see it all the way through. So I want you all to have a nice great Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever it is you do. And we'll see you next year on Chuck's Tuesday Taxidermized Tips.